Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. I'm here to give you guys some messages. So, so excited. So, so excited. Um, I want to say a quick prayer because today, I don't know, they're just kind of jumping through. I was trying to do Scorpios. I was like jumping out of my seat damn near trying to do their reading. It was so good, but... Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Capricorn on what to expect, what to look forward to, and what's going on. I hope they're all feeling safe, loved, and protected. Um, we have a storm going on. It's July 2nd. The energy is going. There was something that disappointed you in May, something involving partnerships and alliances I'm seeing, um, or maybe with an earth sign, or sorry, a fire sign, or an earth sign um, as well towards Virgo Capricorn, and this could just be in regards to wealth, home life, finances, there was some kind of emotional loss, something you thought was gonna come to fruition, I feel like it didn't, but yeah, the disruption's over, 5-16, May 16th or 17th, you could have ended something, shuffling for Capricorn, and started standing your ground July going into August. Yeah, I knew we were going to have a, a turnaround. It's Capricorn. There's a need to speak up to come out of conflict and defeat, though. Use your throat chakra. Say what needs to be said. And if you're scared to do that, I just got a notification on Instagram. So, yeah, definitely there's something that needs to be said. And if you're afraid, you don't know how to say it, lean on spiritual strength. And the universe will be guiding you throughout this process. You could be dealing with a uh, Scorpio because they got those two cards um, as well. Spiritual strength and stand your ground. Something. But yeah, um, just it, there's a need to maintain a firm foundation. Even if you're going through hard times, like don't let it rock the boat too much. Um, and just know that like things always turn around for the better things happen for us not to us and soon you'll see the other side of the story cycles capricorn energy there uh you could have you could be dealing with a virgo or ended something with a virgo or maybe a virgo ended something with you shuffling for capricorn Something about work, too. Something about work. You have to really assess, like, is this what I want to be doing? Is this what I love? Because I feel like something that's making you feel depleted. Pisces energy. Eight. Shuffling for Capricorn. Ooh, but you're having patience. Four. Something's breaking down. Um, there's a need to bring love into the situation. Yeah. And you gain clarity there. Ooh, maybe somebody's pregnant. I saw a wise woman on the bottom. You're trying to create a world of substance. There's just a need to have more patience and bring love. Like, you know, you have to cultivate with love. Damn, I woke up on such a, like a high note today. It's crazy. So when you start bringing love into the situation, um, you're going to be centering yourself. So this is crazy. The cards you got so far, two, two, four, then four here. Center yourself, have patience, bring love into the situation, which equals eight to come out of depletion, right? So as long as you feel grounded, you feel like, you know, you love what you're doing, then you won't feel depleted. You won't really have to worry about that. Yeah. And you'll have delight for what you're doing. But there's something that you need to remove that's taking you out of your energy. And it's Virgo energy there. Something brings you confusion, and you're realizing this now. Like, you're realizing something's kind of toxic, I'm hearing. And it needs to be purified. As soon as we got that card, I don't know if you guys heard that in the kitchen. There was a random noise in my kitchen. Also, L.A. is significant. Maybe you desire to live in L.A., but you're scared. Maybe you have kids. Like, you're scared to move because... Eight, two. Or maybe you, there's something you need to express in regards to um, to bring balance into the home life. Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but there's something about children or a kid that you realize that you need to speak about to bring balance into the situation in order to have a harmonious home life. Ten on the bottom of the deck. Fruition, yeah. So I feel like it's time to go ahead and communicate that. It could be something in regards to pleasure. Somebody, somebody is afraid. 
I'm, okay. Please disregard this if, um, some, I, I'm hearing like she doesn't like to do it with the lights on. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's for somebody out there. Um, but yeah, something needs to be sacrificed in regards to joy or, you know, sexy time and have more compassion for what somebody has to work with i'm hearing this is getting sexual we're gonna switch decks i know not all of you guys like that and i don't want to make anyone uncomfortable um although we are all adults so take how it resonates yeah <laughs> i'm hearing Somebody's mom said, don't ask permission, just ask forgiveness, so forgive me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Forgive me. Okay, let's get into the wild unknown. I just got this deck the other day. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. So also, I'm hearing it, it took this emotional loss for you to reap some kind of reward. Like if you didn't go through something that you consider not the best. Just saw something. If you, if you went through something that you would consider not the best, it was for you to be able to transform so that you can receive the best or like experience the best the lovers achievement with the bird's nest and the are you building a home like stop stop shuffling for capricorn the world so make sure make sure in whatever it is that you are um i just got really nauseous I think it's because I'm drinking Earl Grey on an empty stomach, but take it how it resonates. Make sure that you're not succumbing to worldly things while, like, building this home. But it's like, it's the Nine of Pentacles. It's the Nine of Pentacles. It's like you're almost there. Oh, my God. I'm getting so nauseous. Some of you are getting pregnant. Yeah. Oh, and I just got a notification. Oh my God. Some kind of transformation here. There's a need <clears throat> to remember how far you've come for this new beginning. I feel like you're not really focused on how far you've come and you're not seeing the rewards yet, but it's definitely, it's definitely, definitely happening behind the scenes. Yeah, it's just kind of in suspense right now. The hanged man. So that's why it's hard for you to see that something's moving forward because there's so much stagnancy. But just know, like, something's changing and you're no longer going to have... You're no longer going to be thinking about times where you felt all this loss. And it's really going to just make you see what everything was for. Like, look at this sad horse becomes the happy horse off to a new beginning my throat chakra yeah there's a need to speak up though shuffling for capricorn i feel like you're also afraid of something just like somebody giving it to temptation or someone's afraid of you doing this and breaking their heart somebody doesn't want you to choose something else and hurt them The moon, yeah, there's secrets, son of wands. Or maybe you could be realizing that somebody, you can't achieve something with somebody. Or either you can, I don't know, it's different for everybody, yeah, because then you have the empress judgment. So yeah, there things are at a standstill because I feel like there's about to be a decision of some sort. You could be getting a new job or just something, something is going to bring a lot of happiness. But it's like, it's that point that's right before that, you know? Avoid temptation, that's what I'm hearing. I feel like you're, you're going to have a lot of temptation coming at you. Leo, Sag, Aries energy, avoid it at all costs. 
Because you're looking for emotions, not just the physical. Yeah. Intellect. You're looking for intellect. Yeah. The high priestess. Yes. The gatekeeper. Justice. Father of wands. So, yeah. Fuck the son of wands. And whatever they're trying to bring forth. Because the father of wands is coming. Okay. So, things might feel and the nausea went away instantly. Whew. So, something made you sick to your stomach in the past as well. Maybe that's what you're reflecting on and you're like really scared to feel like that again for some of you. Yeah. And that's why you stay alone. And it's like you work better alone, but that's also why you kind of like... I don't know. You kind of like stay to yourself because it's like... Not only do I get more things done, but also like my own energy, there's no risk there by being with myself. So it's better if I just stay by myself. Yeah. But because you're doing that, you're build there's something that you're able to build now. Like you you've built all of this. Like what others see is an isolated person, somebody on their own. What they don't see is everything that you're sitting on, everything that you've created, everything that you've yet to birth into the physical material world because this is manifestation. These are dreams. These are years and years of accolades and things you don't even talk about. You don't even talk about it. New beginning, the fool. And you have all this under your belt, all these experiences, all these things to bring with you. But all people see is the duck. They don't see the colors. So when you pop out with the zero, everyone's going to be like, what the hell? Where did that come from? The truth. It's the truth. It's always been there. It's always been there. It's just a matter of time. So yeah, like I was telling Scorpio, stay 10 toes down because yeah, your chariot, your rewards are coming not him having the same as me not you having the same necklace as me chariot july okay 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 yeah the queen of wands again here and the queen of swords i see a choice between uh for some of you a choice between an air sign and a fire sign You feel like the fire sign is immature and experienced. Shuffle for Capricorn. Oh, yeah. I don't know. My dream last night. You know what? No, never mind. No, fuck that. I feel like I, I like time traveled in my dream last night and I woke up like with a whole new energy, whole new energy. I'm telling you that you might be getting messages in your dreams. 10, 10, four, six, 10. So you're done with the, the empty cups, the empty offers and the things that keep you up at night. Four, six, 10. You're going after only the 10 of cups, 10, 10. And you're not, you're not, you're only juggling your money at this point. You're not juggling people. You're not juggling other things that you have no business doing. You're keeping your strength and you're only, the only things that you're balancing out is your money. Like truly, you're not wasting your time trying to juggle people with nothing to offer. You know what I mean? Or you've taken, you've really taken time to grow. Like looks like before she was like, very like you know adolescent young now it's like yo not only is she a woman now but you have this big ass lion now you tamed a lion you tamed the beast i'm hearing yeah you walked away you walked away from everything that was also juggling you as well and you call judgment yeah so beautiful. That's that's really how you take back your power, Capricorn. So proud of you. So proud of all of us. Um, 
I just wish y'all saw my energy yesterday. It really had me worried. I was like, I'm about to take another two weeks off just to ground again, just because this doesn't feel right. And today, like, I feel like I could just like fly if I wanted to. Like I could, I'm not going to, but 15, 15. Like if I were to jump off of a building, wings would come out from somewhere. Like I, I don't know. The star. You're divinely guided Capricorn at all times. Never forget that. Shuffling for Capricorn. Oh, I just love my new deck. The the wild unknown. It just makes me so happy. Oh my god. This was out. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone, forgiveness, and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship is healed. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Leo, um, the magician or an Aries. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success and release all major arcana for you and Scorpio in this deck. Um, let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. It's time to move on and strength there again. So whoo, I told y'all as soon as we hop into July, things are going to change. It's July 2nd and things are on the up and up. That's the way I feel. So Capricorn, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how things resonated for you. And please come back and see me. Um, and feel free to join the family. I also invite you to watch your moon and rising videos as well. And also, if you would like to book a personal reading, the information is below. And if you'd like to connect on social media, that is also below. So check me out. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for you guys. I can't wait to see how things really transpire for you. And I can't wait to hear all of your stories. So talk to me. Take care.